Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie. You're not neither any of these blokes. Team Clash was a thing not too long ago. Team Clash was a thing not too long ago. And uh, Team Mahalika, my old mate Conan, Conan from Wargaming. His team on our server uh, won won the event. It was, it was a great it was a great event. I loved it. Seven versus seven at tier ten. Fast, furious, epic gameplay. It was good stuff. Good good opportunity to try out tanks he might not have played before. There was a rental tank system, the five WZ triple one five A BB tanks. And um, all the other BB tanks you could do. Not sure what BB... Somebody said that BB stands for battle bots. Not too sure. But um, some people are not too happy about the BB system. I, I don't know. I'm, a, I'm in two minds. Gives everybody the opportunity to play it. But you definitely saw some interesting gameplay by people who are not used to tier 10 gameplay. I think often uh, often it's you know throwing somebody in a tier 10 battle with a 50% with a crew, for example, might not be conducive to good gameplay. Anyway, this is Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg from Atlas Clan with the Magical Flying Fox, also from Atlas Clan, platooned up in a Team Clash thing. Then they're playing for Team Mahalika, which is the right, the right thing to do. They end up winning. And if you're in Team Mahalika, you might have got a free um, commander with Conan's lovely face on it, which is, that's, I reckon that's pretty cool. Anyway, Celestia Ludenberg, you saw him the other day in the Caro 45T. If you haven't, uh, if you didn't see him in it, if you didn't see that replay, it was the last battle in last Saturday's extravaganza. I highly recommend you check it out. 1-1 one, to score Celestia Ludenberg in the 1-2-1, the Chinese tier 10 medium tank. Magical Flying Fox running around in the Object 430U. Now, I used to, uh, when I was playing this game mode, I, all I did was just go through a medium. So what medium do I feel like playing? Mediums, I think, have generally got better DPM than heavy tanks and stuff like that. And uh, just get stuck in there and fight. I, I didn't even find it was too... Expensive to play. I think it was generally credit positive, but I probably was running personal and or clan boosters. So your mileage may vary as far as whether it was uh, a credit positive game mode or not. Now Celestia Ludenberg is the one two one. That's two two. Playing on Ludenberg, and of course it's 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 encounter. It's like encounter. There's one base, 122 millimeter gun, 440 health damage, 262 millimeters of penetration. With standard, which is what he's firing into the back of the 60T. But there's the big M. I know that guy. Puts a couple of shots into the big M in the 60 TP, and uh, the score's 3-3. Three, three. He's got, uh, there's a premium option as well, which he hasn't used yet, 340 mils of penetration with the heat round. And uh, the team's getting, team's getting railroaded. Looking at the two lineups, only one BB tank on the enemy team, and um, that's him. Uh, one, two, three on Celestia Ludenberg and Magical Flying Fox's team. Now, they're the only two tanks left on their team. Celestia is on full health. He's done 3,316 hit points of damage. Flying Fox, Foxy, is on about, what's that, about 2,000. As um, Celestia gets rid of, he gets his first kill. Brings the score back to 4-5. Now it's three versus two. Super Conqueror coming around the corner. Probably... That Super Conqueror probably should have went around the other corner and killed Magical Flying Fox is on less hit points, which would have been, um, well, he wouldn't have got killed if he had have done that for a start. But getting rid of lower health tanks is probably a better option than um, trying to shoot a full health tank. Anyway, who cares? It's now two versus two, five, five. Um, he's got eight standard rounds remaining. I reckon that'll probably do him. 1,097 hit points left on Celestia's tank. He's just waiting for the turret to uh, to fix itself because he already used his repair kit not too long ago. And he's, uh, that's now on the cooldown. There's a, that should go through, bang. Shoots a Centurion Action X, brings him down to 616 hit points. Flying Fox getting hammered there. He's down to 72 health, which is 71 more than he needs. But the, um, the, uh, the Centurion Action X now one shot and a bit of an alley-oop there. Celestia Ludenberg puts the damage in. Flying Fox confirms the kill. That's his third kill. And Celestia's up to nearly 5,000 hit points. And now it's two versus one. Two medium tanks versus WZ-1158. Now, that's not a BB tank. That's a normal Chinese tier 10 heavy tank. Uh, Celestia's saying, I'll go this way and take the first hit. Blues gets a damaged turret again. Shoots the WZ once. Takes him down to 428 hit points. He'll need a high roll if he's going to get a kill shot. He doesn't. He gets he rolls a little bit low, 399. Leaves him on 29 hit points. And um, Foxy comes around saying, well, I can take a shot. It just goes a little bit old. Nothing wrong with the aim. I think the WZ just went down those steps a little bit faster. Celestia coming around now. Flying Fox on 72 hit points. Celestia can take the um, damage because he's got 638 there. WZ just fired, so he should reload before the WZ. Bang! There's a kill shot. How was that a win? How was that a win indeed? That's what he said. 
on the <laughs> that's what he said on the on the replay screen. And um, it should, if if the enemy had a focus fired just a little bit better, that would have definitely been a different outcome. Celestia Ludenberg from Atlas Clan. We saw him the other day in the Caro 45T, the Clan Wars reward tank. And um, I'll tell you what, it makes me want to get one. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'll have one in my garage. That was not an ace. Of course it's not an ace. This is this is Team Clash, 7 versus 7 at Tier 10. The team score looks pretty, it's pretty telling, the team score. 6,205 hit points of damage from Celestia Ludenberg. In the 1-2-1, one, one, Magical Flying Fox. Oh, Foxy with 4,000 damage. And um, well, the rest were all really supporting actors in that game. Uh, did he make credits? He did. Made some credits there. Paying full price for consumables. Still made nearly 10,000 credits. Who says tier 10 has to be an expensive exercise? I don't think it has to be. Some people think it does. I don't know. Didn't have to fire gold. He was paying for um, Chinese food, whatever it's called, for the premium consumable, I guess. And of course, the first aid kit. But still made credits. That's not too bad. That's what I do when I play Team Clash. I don't really tap the two key too much and um, still get to make credits. Making credits at tier 10 is always fun. This is Fading Neptune. Fading Neptune is also a community contributor. It is Twitch. He does Twitch and YouTube. Links down below. And he's in the Crane Wagon. Now, this is a style that came out a while ago now for the Crane Wagon. The Crane Wagon. He's got, um, he's got the, their helmets there on the side of the turret. Safety first. Helmets there. Is that the crane? Is it a tow truck? Oh, there's another helmet. That's a spare. Three crew members in the crane wagon. Hence, three helmets. The crane looks pretty good. Is it a crane or a tow truck? You tell me. I'm not too sure. <laughs> anyway, Brady Neptune is on Twitch and YouTube. Link down below. Gets to the top of the hill. We're going towards the top of the hill on Malinovka. There's going to be a 277 there. There's two two. There's a pair of 277s up there. First shot misses. Second shot goes through. Now, this is a three-shot... Auto-loading heavy tank. One out of three. Did he hit one? It didn't come up in his damage panel. I'm not sure. I think he did. Anyway, he switched to heat already. All right. Now, we're talking about not spending credits on premium ammunition. This one you might see he does. Standard is APCR with this bad boy. It's a 120 millimeter gun. 440 alpha, 252 penetration. 300 penetration with the heat rounds, which is what he's got loaded. That went a little bit too high for the Udes. Bang. No, not yet. Not yet again. Oh, he's, he hasn't got the best luck at the beginning of the game. But don't worry, his luck will come good. That wasn't a bad roll. 500 hit points into the 277. Average is 440. Nothing wrong with Is that a max roll? If it's not a max roll, it's not far off. Anyway, 0-0 zero, zero is a score. 7 versus 7. This is a team clash. Team Mahalika up against Summer Tiger. Of course, whichever team you opted to go for, that's who you would... Um, play for and you could only platoon with people from that team which I thought was an interesting aspect of it. Unlucky with that last one that would have been a kill shot on the 277 which would have evened up the scoreboard. The whole team the whole team uh, has gone north on the enemy team which is the right thing to do. Uh, they're down by two tanks and he's even indicated in the chat that um, it's GG. We've lost. He's already said in the chat. Never give up man. Come on. You're not you don't become a good player by giving up. Anyway, farming damage into the 277. That was two shots into the 277. One bullet left. That should... Oh. Unlucky. Don't buy a Tats Lotto ticket. Uh, you see, I hope he didn't buy a Tats Lotto ticket after this game. Blocking shots like a champion. 1,420 uh, damage blocked by armor. But some of the dead guys are already criticizing the T110E5BB. Now, we talked about the BB tanks earlier. Um, I... I, 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 I there you go. Finally gets that kill on that 277. Bring the score back to 1-3. One, one bullet left. Bounces the other, the other 277. That's why it's a solid tank, the 27. Now now he's, well, he's bouncing some shots. The crane wagon gets taken out by the grill. And that makes the score a little bit more respectable. 2-3. Now he clearly wants to kill that 277 up the top. But he's um, smartly not advancing forward. So we need to take a few hit points off the badge. It shoots him once, twice. Is this going to be 3 out of 3? It is 3 out of 3. Waits for the reload again. 2-3 the score. Fading Neptune uh, on 3,784 hit points of damage. Platoon up with his old mate Rack the Geno. Rack the Geno Gaming, also a community contributor. Doing, um, definitely does Twitch. I think he does YouTube as well. Not too sure. Down goes the Badger. The Grill getting a, getting his second second kill. And people being quite um, critical of the T110E5BB. Uh, because the T125 BB just didn't join the fight. He just he started about here, didn't come up to the fight, and he's just gone straight to the cap. 
And um, one of the dead guys asking the question, have you done much damage down there? C125. Anyway, they're winning now. They're winning four to three. Four and a half thousand hit points of damage. Unfortunately, Rack the Geno goes down in the object 430U. But uh, Fadim Neptune say, don't worry. I've finally got the kill on that 277. There he goes. The um, E100 is also a one shot. If this works, it'll be good. He wants to He wants to make it work. He wants to save his last bullet for that E100. On top of the... Top of the roof for the kill, and now it's three versus one. The Panzer Kampfwagen 7 at tier 10 is the last enemy tank remaining. The T125 still sitting on the cap. The grill on the reload looking at the um, Panzer Kampfwagen and um, Buddy Neptune will say, I'll just take that one if you don't mind. Bang. No, the grill got it. Good on you, grill. 7-4. After calling that a loss <laughs> pretty early on, turned it around, and even in the... Even in the replay he says the crane wagon saves the team crane wagon saves the team with uh with, a, with an epic win with 5561 hit points of damage nearly 3000 damage to me old mate rack Geno coming in second and and not really surprised oh the t125 did get some damage there you go the e4 didn't i think the e4 died quite early in that brawl and oh that doesn't really support my theory that you can make credits <laughs> You can make credits. You saw that in, in Celestia's game. You can make credits during this, but um, if you fire all gold and you pay full price for consumables, you're not. But, but it doesn't matter. You can do. You can play the game however you like. Fighting Neptune. Check him out on Twitch and YouTube. Link down below. He's old mate Rector Juno Gaming. That was Team Clash. Team Mahalika. Killed it. My old mate Conan, who's an absolute gentleman. Well deserved of the win. Great. And I'm happy. I've got a Conan commander in my... Garage now. Thanks for the replay. Flating Neptune and Celestia Ludenberg. Epic games. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.